The evidence is, Nick, that we would actually increase our exports to the EU if we came out of the legal, the legislative morass of the single market. There'll be no need for checks at Dover, but it will be an ability to ensure that the roads keep running around Dover, even if there are delays at Calais. The delays will not be at Dover, they will be at Calais. We will maintain a free-flowing border at Dover. We will not impose checks in the port. It was utterly unrealistic to do so. We don't check lorries now. We're not going to be checking lorries in Dover in the future. Uh, absolutely clear, it cannot happen. But anyway. the, the sorts of fears being put up, uh, that there'll be problems on crossing uh, from uh, Dover to Calais. The people in Calais, the port authorities, the leader of northern France, have all said that's not going to happen. So yeah, there's been a lot of scare stories. We want a bespoke arrangement on goods which recognises the peculiar, frankly, geographic economic entity that is the United Kingdom. We are, and I haven't quite understood the full extent of this, but if you look at the UK and you look at how we trade in goods, we're particularly reliant on the Dover-Calais crossing. We say we can take back control. We can see the sunlit meadows beyond.